Andy became, I went on my best friend, uh, uh, another designer at uh, CBS named Bill Cecil was giving a party, a cocktail party. Um, he lived down in the 60s on 6th Avenue. I think that's a wholesale flower market. And I went down to the party. So I had to be at camera three the next morning at six o'clock. This was a Saturday night, and I didn't think I could stay too long. It was a very nice party. The photo famous photographer from Vogue and a lot of Vogue models there. And the uh, owner of an antique shop I used to haunt was there, and there were a lot of people to talk to. I walked around with a glass of Coke, pretending I was drinking something more potent and pretending to smoke a cigarette that I could never inhale. And trying to be very New York sophisticated and so on. But there was one strange old guy who sat in a corner all evening long, didn't get up, didn't talk to anyone. I was socializing, having fun. And I thought, you know, I've got to be up at the studio at 6 tomorrow. But before I go, I'm going to go over and talk to him and try to get him up and get him circulating. And I went over and he introduced himself. I introduced myself, and his name was Andy Warhol, a name I'd heard because he was a very famous advertising illustrator, which is what I originally thought I was going to be. And he did uh, a full-page ad every Sunday in the New York Times for a, a famous shoe company. And so we did have things to talk about. And when I said that I was leaving, he said, well, I'm leaving too. I said, no, stay, meet some people, have some fun. And he came down, as we were going down the stairs, there were people arriving for the party, coming up the stairs. When we got down on the street, it was raining slightly, but I knew a taxi would come along soon and bring uh, some more guests. We stood under an awning of a taxidermy shop, which is unusual to find in New York. There was a head of a deer there with antlers, uh, some small animals, and in the corner, a stuffed peacock on a pedestal. And I told him that when I was a child, I grew up on a farm, and that my father had a flock of peacocks. They would rest up in the trees at night and um, we loved the peacocks. Anyway, a cab came. He lived on Lexington Avenue, about uh, 34th Street, I think. I was farther down uh, near Union Square. And I said, I'll drop you. And he said, no, no, I'll drop you. So he took me down to my apartment building and dropped me. And as the cab drove away, I realized I didn't have his phone number. Anyway, I went to the show the next day, took care of that went to work on Monday. When I came home Monday night, the elevator man had my mail and said, here's your mail, and a package came for you. At least I can call it, I don't know what it is. It wasn't exactly a package, but I left it in front of your door upstairs, and it was the peacock. And Andy and I became best friends for many, many years. 